Now, in our green room, in our green room, I don't know if she's there, but I know he's there. My good friend, that great actor, Joe Montaigne. Yes. And do I see, yes, there I see, is that Nia Peoples there? Nia, is that Christopher? Christopher, say hello. That is Christopher. Uh, hi, Christopher, it's good to see you. Christopher's what, six years old? Uh-huh. And I heard he wrote Chronicles. He's, he's been on location with you writing. Yes, everywhere uh, I go, he comes with We've me. got talent everywhere today. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Yeah. To our next guest from TV's Fort House, Nia Peoples. Uh, say hi. <laughs> and acted her way to fame in the series of the same name. Since then, she's climbed the record charts in her music career and is now back on TV, starring in the new courtroom drama, Courthouse. Let's take a look at her in action. Why do I get the feeling we're not going to get anything done today? I cannot properly represent my client if not provided the necessary tools. What is it that you want me to do, Ms. Gilbert? Huh? Throw you in jail? Will that help the cause? I don't know what cause you're referring to. Oh, I think you know exactly what I'm referring to, and I don't like your tone either. Well, I don't like the way things are being handled in this courtroom. Please welcome Nia People. Now, it, it looked to me from that clip, I would just guess that it, you two at some point are going to end up romantically now, involved. Now, why is it that everybody says that? Because you can just see is that, that tension. Going on? He yeah. came on the show. He's quite a guy, Brad. He's a nice guy. He is He's quite a like him. He's got a kind of cool, kind of John Wayne quality. And then know? he turns around and gives you that smile, that Marlboro yeah. thing. No, he's great. He was the Marlboro man, right? Was he? Yeah, he was. That's right. He said he was. Yeah. I noticed you were waving out here to someone in the audience. Who is that little boy down there? That's my guy. That's Christopher. There's Christopher. Wait a Christopher in the green room. There he is. Get your fingers out of your mouth. Hey, Christopher. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, uh, you enjoying sitting out there, Christopher? You want to come up here and sit with your mama? Come on. Come on up. <laughs> come on up. There you go. Hey, look, I'm going to sit right over here. Sit next to Mom, right there. Okay, there you go. And I hear you take him now on location happy. sometimes, right? He, every time. He goes with me everywhere. He's, he's my little set dummy. No. He's the best. Now, you were talking about him keeping a journal or something on location. Right, what well, last that? year, he started kindergarten last year, so they do homework in kindergarten now. Does anybody in here have kids in kindergarten? Anybody I've knows? had them. It's work. Look at all the kids over here. They're, they're 15 years old going, me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wasn't talking about your homework. No. Um, but when I was in kindergarten, it was like preschool. It was like a babysitter's club. But now the kids are having to learn how to read and write. And so he comes on the road and it's, uh, you know. But you, you teach him a lot? I tutor him on the road, but, sure. Because you were kind of a hands-on mother with your, your ex-husband. Right. You, he had two children, right? Yes. And you were always uh, dealing with their homework and helping. I was the one who did. Yeah, I'm very hands-on. I'm a hands-on kind of mom. Well, that's great. How do you feel about it, Chris? Are you a little tired? I want to take a little nap? No, Here you okay. Go. That's good. Oh, yeah, there's that's you got your own little microphone there. You can you speak to You're not shy, Christopher. Come on. What do you think of your mommy? so cute. You love your mommy? Well, let me hear it. Say, I love mommy. You like to see her on TV? Gonna, you do? I got my fingers back here ready to pinch if he says <laughs> the wrong thing. Isn't that what you do? You do <laughs> gymnastics, I hear. Do you like doing gymnastics? But, but you started out doing gymnastics, didn't you? I mean, fame. Oh, my gosh. You're fame, talking years ago. But, but, <laughs> but you, were, you were such a success on fame, and you left fame all of a sudden. Well, I wanted to go into recording. I mean, you know, I, I'm very musical, and I write music, and I sing, and I dance, and I do all of that stuff that a lot of us in the entertainment business do. So being as young as I was, I thought, well, this is what I feel like. This is what I'll do. So I tried it all, and it was really fun. I remember, though, you, you left at the height of, of fame, and there was a... I think a death by, by a car, you were hit by a truck or a car or they something? They killed me. They killed you. And they did it off stage because they didn't want to pay you for the episode. It, but it was, oh your I, it was your idea to leave, wasn't it? Yeah, I wanted to go. Why, why, did, why did you think I just it felt like it was time to move on. It was time to, you know, when you, they say ride the crest, when you hit the top, that's when you want to sort of slide off. And you that's had a big did. recording career, and then you stopped that. You're the most amazing, you keep shifting gears <laughs> They now. try to kill me, and I just don't just keep coming stay back. down, I keep coming back. 
Yeah, it's... <laughs> why did you stop recording? I mean, why did you get yeah. out of performing? I think with the music, uh, you know, it, it winds up being a business. And I started singing because I love to sing. Singing is a gift, I think. And I found myself unable to listen to the radio. I didn't want to hear it anymore. I just turned it off, and I couldn't enjoy music anymore. So I thought, that's not even worth it. Forget it. And now but, you're back on television again. I'm working on television and singing for free for him. <laughs> but you also, during that time, I remember something called... Uh, Pa pa was it party party machine party, party machine yeah. party machine spit it out there yeah, yeah i remember it it was but it was something that you did uh, somehow in conjunction with arsenio hall he produced it right. it was a show called the party machine it was a dance music show and you did that for a while and then you decided you didn't want to do that right and now you're back on tv as alana says and what what's what's going to happen now are you going to stay in tv i don't I, I think for a while i'd like to um i'm enjoying it because it's keeping me in one place now which is important he's in first grade right. no. he's going to yawn a little there christopher's yawning he's a little tired am i he, boring you he, he can get up there with <laughs> sleepy dave and they can they can yawn together <laughs> I should be the one that's tired. He's been running around back there in the green room, like, just jumping up and down all over everything. He's, he's stealing the scene. Kids always steal the scene. He's stealing. We'll he knows that. Okay. Now, uh, you're... you're oh, Christopher. Christopher, are you underneath there? Now, your character that you play on Courthouse is a real woman of the 90s. Right. She's a public defender. Do you identify with her? I, in all her confusion, I absolutely do. <laughs> I think um, Veronica's a fun character because she is all of those things, or she's trying to be all of those things. I think women today are trying to do a lot of things. They're trying to, to uh, fulfill the, their intelligence. Uh, they're trying to fulfill being a woman and a mother and all of that. And, uh, and it's a challenge. Finding that balance is really a challenge. And Veronica is not married and she doesn't have children, so she doesn't have that part of her life. But she takes her work, um, she deals with it very passionately. So she has a hard time holding her tongue with certain things. She's been known to tell a judge off here and there. And, so is uh, a lot. <laughs> so you identify with her then. Absolutely. What do you think has been the most important lesson you've learned in your life? What would you say? Oh, that's a big, my <laughs> goodness. The most important lesson in my life? Um, I think that, well, right now, the big thing for me is that every day is what, every day you have the opportunity to take a step toward where you want to be in the end. I mean, I want to be with my son. I want to be with some man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I somehow like, don't think I you'll like have you. a problem I, with I, I like this a lot. We, we're going to have to continue this one next time you come back on the show. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Nia Peoples. We'll look for you on Courthouse and on Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on CBS. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey, Christopher. Look at you.